All right, your Mimeo will come in two different boxes. Go ahead and open the first box, or the big box first. And in that box, you'll see the, uh, the Mimeo board adapter. You'll also see the pin. And then underneath the software box is the battery for the pin. Let's so go ahead and uh, open up the pin and place the battery in it. Close it back up. And then next, open the small box. The small box is a wireless adapter that lets you hook it up to your computer wirelessly. You'll see you'll need a uh, the wireless adapter there and then the power cord and then also the wireless USB receiver. The wireless receiver will go in your computer and the wireless adapter will go into the bottom of the Mimeo. So if you open the Mimeo up, you'll see on the back, there's a button you can press that will release and let the USB link, is what it's called, come out. So you press that button and pull out, take out the USB link, put the wireless one in there, and it just slides in. All right, when you're ready to mount the, U the Mimeo board, you're going to place it on the uh, whiteboard. There's two different ways to mount it. Uh, the permanent way is to use the mounting brackets with the adhesive strips that come with it. What you do is just you remove the, uh, the back of those strips and the, on all four of them and then you place it on the board. Uh, it can be placed on the bottom left, on the top left, at the top of the board, on the top right, turn it upside down, the bottom right, or on the bottom of the board. So it's very um, versatile the different ways you can mount it. Uh, you can also mount it uh, temporary you can take those brackets off and use the suction cups on the back of the board and that'll allow you to mount it and uh, play around with it and see uh, where you want it before you mount it temp uh, permanently. So there's Jody has mounted it with the suction cups. Uh, with the wireless you have to have it plugged in so at the bottom there's a plug and you'll plug in the power to it and then plug that into a wall socket. If you don't have a wall socket nearby, you can also use batteries. There's a, a battery compartment on the back of the board right there that you can put batteries in and it can be battery operated. Okay, so now we have our board mounted and we have it plugged into a wall socket so it has power. And now we're going to install the software on the computer. Okay, now we're going to install the software. Uh, we're going to do this on a laptop just for demonstrations, but it's the same for your desktop. You're going to take the uh, USB adapter, you're going to plug it in to the computer. With that USB adapter plugged in, yep. you go to the library applications on your desktop and install the software from there. Alright, when you're ready to install the software, all you'll need to do is go up and double click on the library applications folder on your desktop then double click on all then find the Mimeo Studio 6 icon and double click on that once you do that the installation should pop up and start installing it will take a couple minutes for that to get installed and then once it's done we will uh, activate the product When the installation finishes, you'll have this uh, activation window pop up. If you've plugged in your uh, USB wireless receiver already, you should just be able to click OK on this, and that'll be it. Okay, I've closed the library application window so we can look at the desktop, and you'll notice we have two new icons here. We have a Mimeo Notebook icon, and we have a Mimeo Tools icon. That lets us know that the software installed like we wanted it to. Now before we actually go over and start using the board, there's one more thing we have to do. We have to tell the software where we have the Mimeo mounted on our board. To do this, you'll go down to the bottom right hand corner here and right click on this little icon, the Mimeo Studio icon, select settings, and then go to devices. So you'll see from this picture here that it shows that we've mounted it in the top left hand corner of the board. Well for this demonstration we actually mounted it in the bottom left hand corner. So come over here to the device mounting and pick where you mounted it. In our case we did vertical so we mounted it up and down on the bottom left hand side. You notice when I select that it moves it to where 
the uh, the mounting is just so you can verify that that is the way you have it mounted once you have this done you can click OK and then now you're going to pick up your pin and go over to the board for the calibration part once you have the bar placed and you have your settings correct so that the Mimeo software knows where the bar is placed on the board the first time you touch the pin to the board it should start the calibration now you got to be careful when you touch it don't touch and hold because if not it's going to mess up your calibration you notice you'll have uh, some X's come up on the board you'll just tap those tap the center of the X with your pin and a new X will come up and you'll tap that and what this is doing is it's lining up where the Mimeo board is uh, in relation to where your image is being projected so that uh, everything will be uh, lined up and, and correct so that when you touch the screen it'll know exactly where you're touching okay now that that's done if uh, Jody will touch the board somewhere you notice the mouse cursor will follow where she touches okay so that's how we know that everything is calibrated correctly if at any point your Mimeo board gets moved or your projector gets bumped or, or anything like that it's going to mess up your calibration so you'll notice when you put the pin up against the board the cursor is is off it's not where it's supposed to be uh, but that's okay you can recalibrate at any time uh, to recalibrate all you do is you uh, double click and bring up your Mimeo tools and that'll start the uh, the Mimeo tools toolbar and then you click the this little button right here which is the interactive button when you click that it'll bring up the calibration or it might bring up a, a prompt saying would you like to calibrate you just click yes on calibrate then you can go through the calibration again and uh, get everything back the way it's supposed to be